honestly one of the best ways of traveling around London. I present you the legendary Santander or so-called Boris bikes. Hello everyone, so here we are. I'm Filip Manuilov, this is my brother Peter and Hello. I've been really waiting to film this video for quite some time and in this video I'll be doing a review on these bikes right here as you can see and I think this is quite a cool review. Okay, I mean that's the station where the bikes are. You can see an advertising of the bank, this is Santander bikes and we have a bunch of them. I mean, this particular station is on a Sandcroft Street, as you can see. And there's basically two different ways you can rent these bikes. So they're parked right now in these stations and they're like fixed there, usually, yeah. And there's a uh, two ways. So you see the station over here, right that post. And if we go here, I can show you. You could basically touch screen to begin and then you can follow all the steps and insert the card basically i think it, for me it never really took the contactless mobile payment and you always had to do it with a card so if you want to do it like that you can do it with a card and it's working just fine but this screen is super stupid like it's ridiculous you have to wait for like a while for it to print your ticket but regardless and method number two, which I think is by far the best, actually there's three, but I'm, I would say pretty much two. You just use the app and it gives you the code for the particular zone that you're in, like let's say this station, you can select, click the bike, it will tell you how many bikes there are, it will literally tell you if there are three bikes, two bikes or whatever, even if there are electric bikes, which I will do a short review later on in this video so stay tuned definitely subscribe to the channel i'll be doing some more interesting reviews like that for things in london and yeah so you take this code from the app and you use it in the spin pad right here so all these stations got little pin pads i mean this one doesn't work but anyway <laughs> they call this pin pad yeah you can click it will show you the progress i mean i just entered some random code and you enter your code right here basically i would recommend before you go like before you choose your bike there's a select let's say there's a selection of bikes what i would commonly do like i would give a visual assessment of the bike so let's say this bunch is pretty much okay but i would usually check for tire pressure because sometimes some of them like the tire pressure is really bad and you just you take the bike out and you're like god damn it you can't really cycle too far and too fast and this is just embarrassing and you feel like shit on these roads especially so yeah also check the brakes i rarely do it right now but sometimes i had i had periods when i rented these bikes and i literally realized i'm like oh shit there, there's like no brakes and i'm riding it pretty fast so that can be a bit annoying and th that's it really just see if you like the bike if the sometimes i also check for the basket space i don't know how they do it but some baskets are like they're never consistent this one is like let's say too small or anything but the basket is super handy i, I absolutely love it you can drop your bag in there and there's even this string right here pretty awesome adjust the seat height like so also really nice and easy funny enough you can't really use a basket if you don't already have a bag because otherwise wow. your stuff is going to fall off unless it's quite chunky well yeah you put i guess i use some bags like i don't know from a sh shopping bag it's fine actually but i would say this is one of the best baskets because if you have like a chunky bag you can just stick out from the sides and that's actually very nice I decided I'm taking this bike for this particular case and this is how the app looks actually we managed to get a little snapshot so as you can see press higher well, I already selected the bicycle station yeah basically. there we go that's our code that's all we're gonna enter right here like that it flashes a little noise 
And there we go. That's the bike. So let's park this guy over here. We'll do a little walk around, you know. Has this little step right here. So there we are. That's the bike. You see it doesn't have this top part of the frame and this is actually quite nice in my opinion because it makes the bike nice and safe in terms of for example if you are about to fall and you need to jump out of the bike it's super convenient that you don't need to jump over the frame and I had instances where I was like literally just some pedestrians jump out of nowhere and you had to brake or whatever and just jump off the bike, bike fly somewhere but it's super good in that case there you are, I mean, honestly, not much more to say. It has a bit of a light which shines in the dark when there's the evening, but I think it shines right now as well. There's some lights in the front as well. They don't, they don't actually produce light. If you're in the dark, you wouldn't see anything, but they're just there for, I guess, other cars to see who's on the bike and yeah, just to see if there's a bike coming. Or else the handles are here, get a little thing done right there. Yeah, okay, I mean, I mean the seat, the seat is actually nice and comfy, lots of your, lot of common bikes are just, yeah, I wouldn't say the seat is very comfy, so this one you just feel like a sofa, and perfect. Got three speeds, one, two, three, honestly, first is alright, second, but I would say you guys, I barely use the second one, so first to start off, third, just keep going, yeah, so that's, that's the bike, we got one as well. Yeah. Bro, these brakes are so good sometimes. I remember I, I accidentally pressed the front one instead of the back brake and I almost flew in front of the steering wheel. That was crazy. Yeah, so what are you saying? Yeah, so what I was saying, there's basically a total two seats. Thing. Oh, I think there's like several seats, so one. you got a different one. I got the most comfy version of the seat, yeah. I actually prefer this one. You prefer that one? Yeah. I think this one feels more like a sofa, honestly. This one is more like a... Yeah. yeah. Bicycle. Nah, they're all good, I mean, pretty good. Very, very nicely made bikes, super durable as, as you can see. <laughs> They've been here for a long time. Yeah, let's, let's get into the riding. We're just gonna cycle to central now and I mean I'll film bits of it, I'm not gonna film the entire way but just to show you how we're going. Okay so here we are, we're just cycling, I, ho I hope you can actually hear us clearly because uh, I mean obviously there's some wind blowing towards us, but yeah you can see we chose a nice little road kind of bumpy but yeah that's the way this bike is super easy to steer it's like very nice and gentle so I think that's kind of perfect for the city bike actually I would say it's easier to steer with a narrow seat versus like the, the I don't think there's a difference in the seat I, steering I there's another station you go guys these stations there's a good thing, there's like so many of these stations everywhere around London, like central zone, let's say, that it's super convenient because you can literally be anywhere and you can be almost certain that there will be a bike station nearby. I guess I could talk a little bit about the pricing of these bikes. So I'm currently using a monthly subscription which gets you unlimited bike access for a month, obviously for 20 pounds and uh, you can rent them basically for an hour and that will be included in the subscription I think you honestly don't really need much more than an hour ride let's I think we're going right again yeah yeah you honestly don't need more of more than that and then after an hour you can just switch up the bike again and there'll be no problem and you can use unlimited amount of bikes throughout the month and for an electric bike it charges you one pound extra which I think is a bargain honestly because it's an electric bike and it's going pretty freaking fast there's a Newport Street gallery by the way I've been there a couple of times haven't filmed anything there yet but maybe at some point I will do 
go. I'll try to give you a couple of tips how to cycle around London or maybe around UK in general but I guess especially around London obviously keep to the left side of the road as you can see we're here and there's usually a bit of a cycle lane sometimes well this one is not amazing but still better than nothing and every time when you need to turn somewhere or just do any kind of maneuver that might not be as predictable for cars obviously then just uh, wave your hand to the direction in which you're going to be going for example if i'm going to be going left i'll just point my left hand to the left and that will make it nice and easy for everyone to understand where i'm going these are some special shots for you people there we go big ben and the westminster that's it Yeah, I mean, this place, tourists are going just everywhere, so you have to watch out. Loving it. And on this kind of day, it's just, it's just the perfect way to move around. You really don't want to be inside a bus or tube. It's just, it's too good outside, like, what, it's 24 degrees right now. Nice and chill, a bit of wind is ideal. Nice and easy, don't even need to steer the wheel, it's perfect. Ah, red light, we're gonna respect the rules. Classic one, the standard, nice and easy one. Pretty reliable, yeah. almost always there. You can, yeah, that, that can be your regular transport. It's quite good. Yeah, I just didn't say that if you were to get it for just one ride, it costs 165. It used to be one quid, but it's not anymore. I mean, now they made it the same price as the bus, right. which is kind of disappointing at that point. And yeah, but it used to be one pound, now it's 165. So if you're getting it, I su suggest getting a monthly subscription and use it then every day or as often as you need. Okay, so here we are. We just got to another station and we're actually getting the electric bikes. Now here's the overview of the electric bike. As you can see, it's not much of a difference. It's just got a bit of a thicker frame and a different style basket, but pretty much the same thing only it's got electricity and there's a little status bar of how much charge it's got and also a speedometer nice that didn't go far what 
we're going we're literally just in Regent Street over here and it's getting busy Friday Yeah, this is Soko on Friday, quite busy and I think it's getting even more busy later on, it's about what, 8 o'clock right now, and you see the speed over here, nice, you have to pedal always to get power supply, so you can't just press a button or anything, but it's still really nice, you barely have to pedal and the power is produced. Yeah, and the top speed is about 27 kilometers and after that it kind of limits your ability to go faster, but you can still pedal. There we are, nice Friday chill ride. I mean usually for a shorter distance and especially in like Soko and stuff like that, I wouldn't really be taking an electric bike because it's just too close and there is nowhere to get fast because you have to like look out for the crowd but it's still really good that doesn't take us far just to the next red light. I also want to say that there's a lot of people in London who just have their own bikes and I think that's fair enough but I just personally don't think it's convenient enough and plus because lots of bikes just get stolen and yeah you just have to be looking for places to park and just always kind of concern where your bike is at and sometimes you just want to go somewhere and drop your bike off and not take a bike back or maybe it started raining or whatever or maybe you just need to cover a short distance and not have a bike with you all the time so i just think these bikes are extra convenient and totally worth the price it's just like really good and uh, you never really need to worry about them yeah, sometimes some station will have no bikes or just to be too far and like if it's outside I guess zone 2 there's no more bikes but I mean how often do we need to go outside zone 2 it's just it's really convenient for zone 1 and zone 2 the rest I would say is a bit troublesome but then it's too far to go on a bike anyway in the city conditions so these bikes I've been cycling on them since I got to, to the UK and uh, I absolutely love them since the, that time it brings me back good memories and uh, yeah, we definitely recommend Fun fact, sometimes I want to check the time and if you go past the bus, usually there's a time Yeah, that's, uh, this one is very random <laughs> 